All right, y'all, so we are here with something very interesting, man. And I think that what makes this very interesting is only the best Fanny players in the world realize how key this is, like realize how important this is and how much of a big deal this is. So as you can see right now, the third skill is missing. This Fanny player actually removed the third skill so they're not depending on their ultimate to finish off kills. So you know when you cable bad and you make mistakes and you're not that good on Fanny, you can always bail out and do okay as long as you just hit the ultimate button if somebody's low. This makes it so you have to be skilled. You have to cable. You can only rely on your own skill to actually secure kills. No bailout button, all skill. This is excellent training to become very, very good. If you want to become a solid Fanny player, if you feel like you're strong mechanically, if you feel like actually being really, really good on Fanny is something that is in your heart and something that you want to do, you want to be one of the best at Mobile Legends on this character, this is the way that you should probably go about training. Because anybody can walk around with Fanny. Like, I have a friend who plays Fanny, and his play style on Fanny is he literally walks around, he uses freaking um, Petrify, and he uses Ultimate. He Petrify, he hits his first ability, and then he ults. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, buddy. Like, Fanny is literally one of the most impossible characters to stop in mobile legends if you actually master fanny there's not any other character like fanny when you have mastered cabling so if you are going to put your all into a character and want to you know be the very very best at a character fanny is probably that character that you want to work on if you don't ever want to be stopped so yeah man um keep that in mind just, just something to take with you um this is what a strong fanny player could do i don't believe this challenge would be very difficult for any of the top fanny players in the world most of them don't rely on their ultimate they're not they're not ultimate reliant so this would be a big deal to someone like me but somebody who actually is really really good on fanny this challenge right here is probably light work it's still very impressive by the way not to say that this is easy at all because it's not but Look at that. Still securing the buff. Nice. So yeah, when it comes down to improving at Mobile Legends and thinking about the ways that you want to go about becoming a stronger Fanny player, you have to really think outside of the box. Think about what makes certain Fanny players weaker and, and stronger. Like you see very fast cable Fannies. You see very accurate Fannies. You see, you see so many different things that make a Fanny player strong. Don't try to do everything. Work on getting really good at one thing. And this one thing right here, cabling is so crucial. You can work on your speed. You can work on your precision. Like if you're very precise with how you move, you can get kills that way. If you're very fast with how you move, you can get kills that way. You don't have to be fast and precise. Master one and then move on to the next. Once you get some speed down, okay, I'm super fast on Fanny now. Great, I can hit my cables. Okay, let me be precise now. Now you work on your speed with the precision. Before you know it, you'll be a thousand games in and it'll be light work. It'll be, you'll be able to do it in your sleep. But don't judge yourself by, by how you play super early on. Like you have to you have to put the reps in get those games in man Don't sit here and think that you're supposed to you know, just be an insane player the first time you play or Super fast give yourself a thousand games. Give yourself a good amount of games. That's all Like I can promise you If you play a thousand games on Fanny, I mean seriously trying your hardest every single game trying to improve something every single game there's no way you will not be one of the best Fanny players in Mobile Legends by the end of the thousand games. Now, if you just play a thousand games and you're using cheese, you're just walking around alting people all day where you're not even practicing cable, cabling, yeah, you can still be trash after a thousand games. But if you're really, really trying, impossible to, to not be better. Look at this.
Oh my goodness, look at that. He didn't have his ultimate. Now, see, that's a situation where if he would have had his ultimate, he'd have finished them. But he's doing the challenge where, nope, he don't need his ult, so. Mmm. Ah, missing some cables. Gotta retreat. Mmm. Nice. Look at that. Ah, almost got him. Dang, he thirsty. Harith is not going. You can see how much skill this takes, man. You can see just how much skill this takes, yo. Without that ultimate, you can see these situations where he would have kills but he can't secure those kills. You can't make as many mistakes. I don't know why he went for this. Like, yeah, he should be dead. He was way too low health to be fighting Fanny in a jungle for a red buff. That was crazy. Okay, he's over with. And he just used, he used the spell already. It's done for. Oh my goodness. Got him. And Harris out of there. <sighs> He's gonna die next. He's still chasing. That's not smart. Okay. Nice. Laner finished him off. Uh-oh, that Marshman's out of there. You know that Marshman's out of there. Dang. But as you can see, like, the Marksman is an easy kill, man. The Marshman's an easy kill. Like, he's been taking out tanks and stuff. He's been going for very high HP heroes. But if, if he goes for who an assassin is supposed to be slaying, look at that. It's crazy. Like, it's very easy for him to do his job at that point. That tank's gonna go down. Uh-oh, look at him. He ready. That man got a lot of health. I don't know if he wanna do that. Uh-oh. Did he get it? Oh my God, that retry. That retry was crazy. 
I didn't think he got that one off in time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, didn't escape that. That's why you just wish he was he could use his ultimate man, but nature of the game, man. This is why this is why the challenge is so cool, yo. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they got they got him. Caught him lacking. Can he get that buff? Oh, dipped out of there. Look at the accuracy. Oh, man. They getting kind of tanky. Can't just burst them down like that right now. They stopped them from being able to move. That sucks, man. It's such a tough game without the ultimate. The ultimate is like a free kill. See if he catch the marksman lacking. Uh oh, the marksman lacking. They just burst them down so fast. Nothing you can really do about that. the tank doing bro <sighs> they melting that tank nobody went to help the tank what's going on
I mean, he trying, man. He doing all he could really do. Are they gonna lose? Ah, oh, that sucks, man. That sucks, bro. This team wasn't it. Definitely a team difference. It happens. Imagine a Fanny not using their all, all game and doing the best on the team. That's crazy, man. But yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, I think this was this is definitely a, a you know a very great challenge to do. It's very good if you want to learn to become one of the strongest Fanny players in the world. Um, this is how Fanny players should be training, man. If you ask me, like your cabling is going to be on point if you have to only rely on cabling. If you always got that that bailout button, then you're going to rely on that button and you might not fully master Fanny the way that you need to to be one of the top players playing Fanny. So yeah, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.